Guys, welcome to another commentary done by DD. Yeah, we're seeing different players here. Shock in the bottom right hand corner. We have Ash Lee, who is actually Radley, who is involved in a lot of the clan matches you see. If you check out uh, BWCL or STPL, I love watching STPL. Usually he's running during my during my lunch break, and they're really fun matches. King of Nukes there. I actually didn't get to see him uh, drop nukes in STPL, but Space Brood War in Twitch chat let me know that he was involved in a lot of nuke games. He's going to be the pink Terran in the bottom right-hand corner. I think I mostly know Radley from his involvement in CPL. If the audio is odd, by the way, OBS just updated again. So we'll see if that ends up playing uh, Havoc. But in the upper right-hand corner, we have Oxerg starting as the yellow Zerg. He's gone pretty far multiple times in BSL, is an extremely strong player. I think definitively the... Maybe... I, I think I'm just going to say this wrote the best Macedonian StarCraft player. Also on Team Ash. Radley, good Poland. There's a lot of good players in Poland, actually. And there's just like a... So that's obviously Zero's home country. I feel like Polish StarCraft and like Russian finance <laughs> are what keeps StarCraft going uh, across the board. But you got Bonneth out there. Uh, he's got... This is all just before the launch of Season 14 of BSL for people watching this. Late. I am going to get uh, to cast some games. Looks like a drone scout moving out. Overlord scout making its way to the bottom right-hand corner. And in the meantime, Oxerg is saving resources. It looks like to go for a 12 hatch rather than a 12 pool, potentially. At least I don't see any drones making their way. And it, yeah, we are also seeing that drone making its way to go ahead and drop that hatchery. A barracks inside base for Radley. But yeah, this is just going just gonna to be the first set. I'm just doing a smattering of games that look interesting uh, here and there while I figure out what I'm going to do for round three. I'm looking at Striker versus DeWalt, but I have a feeling that Veer might have grabbed Striker versus DeWalt already, and that would be silly for me, especially the sheer volume of games to cast here, to recast a game that has already been recast in volume. Looks like Radley is going to get first scout versus Oxerg, which is going to be extremely important. Spawning pool extractor in position there, and it looks like Radley is saving up, seeing the 12th hatch to potentially just go for a quick expansion potentially after, uh, uh, off a single marine, does have the resources saved. I'm not seeing a second barracks. I'm not seeing a gas grab, which would suggest to move towards mech. SCV's holding back in this corner in the interim. And it looks like, yeah, not even any drones being saved here, potentially for... I, this is usually where you... Or sorry, the larva would start being saved at this point, potentially, to produce zerglings. But it looks like, at least initially, these are just going to straight dr drones. So Oxerg opting to go more economic... Command center being plopped down. Yeah, so one barracks, handful of marines. The overlord taking a bit of damage. It's going to be forced over the high wall of the natural expansion. And the drone's actually able to get a lot of damage. Chasing down battle drone! Getting the walking kill there. And now, Radley, in the dark. Lair is starting. So it looks like it is going to be two hatch play. We do have a pair of zerglings being built. But playing it rather light. A second SCV making its way out to potentially get that vision timing. No... No bunker being created because it is not needed. And it looks like it is going to be two barracks into gas academy, which is pretty... It's it's a necessity, honestly, after going in command center, such an early command center. The SE trying to get into the main, slipping across the corner, getting boxed out a drone along the corner to potentially not allow it. Yeah, and taken out. There's also a preventative something colony at the natural expansion. There were some Marines that were potentially looking to get aggressive, but they're going to have to back off. But what this also opens up for Oxerg, aside from, it looks like, ooh, did he supply cap himself? Might have supply capped himself right here. Yeah, this Overlord being produced along the way, but uh, might have a... I don't think it's going to hurt him, though, because this is where he's going to want to drop his Spire anyway. A couple Zerglings along this corner. SCV's being transferred to the natural Marines in position. We do have that refinery online, two barracks, and the Academy just starting, but... Spire on the way. Oxerg, I think he's just going to go extremely aggressive mutilus. He's already got a single sunk colony down to help defend his front door. This is a natural expansion. And this is what, I'm not sure we've been able to see this yet. This is a very harassable natural. Where you can just kind of dodge in and out of that cloak field. We do have cloaking field. It's not exactly what, the fog of war, that's the word I'm looking for. Double barracks producing those marines. And this is going to be, so engineering bay coming after academy. And Oxerg really pushing this. I, this is actually in the era where I'm not sure we can rely fully on timings anymore. It looks like a, an extractor being grabbed because it is possible to do 
mineral boosting, things like that. I know a lot of players have kind of sh uh, the older players have kind of shied away from it and just kind of played their standard stuff uh, to remain more comfortable. A lot of Zerglings being built as well. So potentially this is going to be a combo Muta Zergling bust. Some Zerglings checking that front door. There is a lot of Marines there though. It looks like a full control group of Marines. No medics to support as of yet. So I take that back to medics just being plopped down. It looks like Radley setting up to go ahead and get four out. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of Zerglings. But there's going to be a hefty attack force at the natural expansion to deal with this. Also being informed that mineral boosting is old. Not sure how many people have like really made a thing of it though. To make it uh, like part of their standard game where I feel like that's becoming more of the standard thing at the higher levels where it's like you do mineral boost. If you don't mineral boost, it's like what are you even playing this game for, right? Now, I take it back. Level 1 weapons is being upgraded, which again suggests, yeah, this is going to be high, high level aggression. The Mutalisks spawning, and this is going to be pretty good timing for Oxerg with his initial Mutalisks. He's going to have five... Initially, it looks like six grouped up, and they're going to come in there pretty close to the 630 mark. Two turrets already in place, third turret being created along the corner. Radley pretty well boxed in, so Oxerg. And he's moving out, and actually he could be moving out into a uh, into Danger Town. Ooh, that Overlord taking a little bit of damage. He could be moving out into Danger Town, and these Mutalisks... Oh no! Oxerg! Moving the Mutalisks waywardly right into some Stim Marines and losing an Overlord. Nothing going right. In game one, the Zerglings looking for a counterattack. There is a bunker there, but the Marines are not yet in it. They're getting boxed out of the bunker. In the meantime, the medics and everything else getting pulled out. The Zerglings now making it into the main. So despite the Mutalisks eating a lot of damage, where are the Mutas? Did the Mutas just die? I think the Mutas might have just got melted in the midst of this, but the Zerglings pressing things in the background. Yeah, they, never mind. They just went back to home base. They're just going to sit on two, but the Zergling is able to get a decent amount of disruption at the main. Still getting some SCV kills here. And Oxerg returning to home base, shelling up, drops three sunken colonies. So certainly planning on being aggressive, and he's got a hatchery in the upper left-hand corner. So now the question, Radley, he's got that academy. He has not yet put down Comsat. He's working halfway towards weapons one. Looks like he's skipping Comsat to maybe sneak a factory a little bit sooner. Maybe realizing that Oxerg was going to be aggressive, so he wants to try to get Science Vessels out sooner rather than later. It's also possible just a misstep in his build. But the Marines taking forward position. The Mutalisks flying around looking for weak spots are able to pick off stragglers here and there. Walking towards the main, but they are going to be greeted by missile turrets. Going to go ahead and back out. Additional missile turrets being dropped. I think Radley's got a good view on what Oxerg is up to. Without even compsetting, maybe because he saw the earlier Sutton Colony. But now Oxerg just buying himself time to go ahead and get that third up. Potentially move towards... Yeah, he's already got that Queen's Nest being built. Make his move towards Hive. Get that three gas secure. And here's the thing, it might work against Radley a bit. So he did get that Starport down a little sooner rather than... Because of the, late, the delayed compsat station. The Mutal is being pushed back as the Marines are... Moving up the field, but... He invested a lot in turrets and did have that economic disruption, which did buy Oxerg a good amount of time. Some nice micro over this edge of the Fog of War. Marines continually getting picked off, and it looks like the, the herd is being thinned. Four barracks up, a fifth on the way. Factory being lifted off, Starport finishing. So now Radley, is he... So Hive just starting. He is going to have a window... Where he's going to have science vessels out and the medic marines potentially depressed. But they've got to find this base in the upper left-hand corner. And thus far, I have not seen, heard a single comsat from Radley. Maybe I've just missed it. Maybe I can check the energy sneakily. Looks, Yeah, no, no comsat yet to discover the third base. So currently, he's just been heads up engaging the mules. Able to pick one off there. Pick, picking off two. Levels, yeah, level one weapons has kicked online. Ox are going to go ahead and back off now. But Ox are did not need to build... A massive amount of Mutalisk, although it looks like he has got a secondary group. This is unfortunate, because he looks like he invested in a large secondary group. Dropship being built! I take it back! I was expecting Science Vessel here. The Science Facility is online. I don't see a Science Vessel anywhere, though. But upon seeing a lack of Lurkers to follow this up, he's going to go Dropship to try to drop into the main. But Oxer doing work. 
on those medic marines. He does have plus one weapons. More mules joining the grouping. And Hive just about finished. Carapace is going to be along the way. But this could be the shifting, the shift of the tides. The Munilists are out of position to spot this dropship. There is an Overlord along the northern corner, but is Oxer going to react in time? His Munilists are far afield. There's the Comsat from Radley checking out the main. The drones, yeah, Oxer sees it, responds very rapidly. Greater Spire is being morphed. The Marines are moving forward with the Medic Ball. However, they're not moving towards the third. They're moving towards the main. The Mutalisks very rapidly. Taking care of all of these troops. The Greater Spire holds. Oof, a little bit low on health overall, though. And that dropship looks like it's going to get picked off. That's going to delay Science Vessels, which is going to make that Greater Spire build even stronger. More Medic Marines pushing towards the front. And are we going to see a follow-up dropship after that? It looks like we are seeing science vessels. A wraith is being produced. Maybe a wraith can sneak up in there and just get the little bit of damage need, needed to knock down that spire. I'm glad I picked this one at random. This is a great match. Oxerk has this third secured. This base has been completely untouched. The Marines can able to get two more mutalists. And keep in mind, those mutalists need to be preserved for this greater spire build to pay off. They are starting to move towards that natural expansion. A vulture out... Just in case of a aggressive counterattack, Greater Spire is finishing. Never mind, canceled at the last second. Instead, Ultralisk Cavern being dropped by Oxerg. The Medic Marines trying to press the front. The Zerglings coming across as well. A fourth Creek Colony. The Mutalists are here with additional Zerglings. That entire attack force is being obliterated. And now Radley may be in some trouble. That Wraith is in the air. Science Vessels are there as well. Looks like he's starting to group up to go ahead and take this 6 o'clock base. However, third gas is there for Oxerg. He's got that Ultralisk Cavern going to finish in not too long. He's got Carapace upgrades default being built. And Radley actually, now these mines out on the front door look genius. That will help soften up any small trooping. Oof, a couple Zerglings getting picked off it looks like. Thinning the herd there. He's going to dive in. He's going to get a lot of disruption here at the 6 o'clock. The Marines out of position to help defend. That's going to force either a cancellation or that command center might get picked off. Science Vessel's now going to... The Science Vessel's getting a little too aggressive. I don't see an Irradiate yet. Eating some free damage. Race Cloaking. There's finally an Irradiate, but not before one Science Vessel is picked off. Not a great split from Oxerg. And it looks like the Wraith are going to be able to chase down and maybe hunt a couple of mutil free Mutalisk kills. However, and more Mutalisk being built. Ultralisk Cavern is there. An additional hatchery being plopped down. Let's see if Oxer can go ahead and get... Here's the thing with the build of Wraith instead of Science Vessels. Is yeah, they're good in open field with Cloak against Mutalisks. However, that is Science Vessels that were not built and were going to be needed versus Ultralisks that are going to be here shortly. In fact, the first Ultra looks like it is going to take the field. Vulture trying to sneak out and get some mines. Wants to try to get anything to soften things out. Radley boxed back to two bases. I don't know that he feels comfortable going ahead and taking third. He's going to continue to build some right here. Maybe if he can hunt an Overlord or two. Vulture's getting picked out. Handful of Zerglings look like they're going to sneak out to go ahead and do some mine clearing as well. Wow, that one didn't... Did it even take that shot? I guess it only took the corner. It's going to also be able to scout that 6 o'clock base. Might be able to get a free SCV kill in the midst of this. Radley was hoping to take this bottom left-hand corner sneakily, but instead the Mutalisk army getting caught by surprise over that Medic Marine army. There's only a single Medic there in this grouping, and this is 10 Mutalisks, so they might be able to micro, but they want to, again, try to preserve health in the midst of this. Radley desperately needs to go ahead and establish a third all sorts of hatcheries online. And upgrades coming for Oxerg in the meantime. He's happy to play this shell game, build his economy, get Ultralists up, and get those Ultralists upgrades online. Three Ultralists just waiting at the natural expansion. The Carapace upgrade is there, waiting on Ultra Speed to just kind of be a nuisance and out on the map absolutely everywhere. The Mutalists are roaming to see what they can find. Medic Marines now moving on the field. That's going to put Oxerg in the red. There is a decent Science Vessel fleet, but honestly, they have not dropped a lot of Irradiate. 
in the midst of all of this, and I think this Medic Marine Force is going to be highly disappointed as it's coming up to just run into the Ultralisks. They are slow, but they got that Zergling support, and with the Adrenal upgrades, are these Zerglings slow as well? Nice Irradiate dropped on that Ultralisk. But this Medic Marine army is forfeit, and that might have been helpful to secure an additional base, do a lot of things. The Medic's eating their own Irradiate. Unfortunately, Irradiate Ultralisks, unless you can get some distance... Yeah, they end up being a little bit stronger versus Medic Marines. So those, at least these Ultralists are going to be taken care of. It looks like that Irradiate. But an Eraser Trick in the meantime at the Natural Expansion from Radley. Wiping out several drones to blunt Oxerg's economy. Another dropship has been built. So this is turning into a potential starvation match. Double dropship. Oxerg currently has denied a third base. Ultralisks are moving into the natural expansion now. They're going to see those dropships. And I don't see any energy for Irradiate in the meantime. And this is a pretty thin Medic Marine Force. That's four Ultralisks. Luckily, and a Science Vessel is going to get taken out overhead while the Medic Marines are distracted. So the Science Vessel fleet is also getting obliterated. This is not looking good for Radley at all. Ultralisks having some trouble doing some concentrated fire here. But the natural expansion is breached. SEV is being pulled off the line. And Radley wanted to try to establish additional bases, as it were. More Ultralisks making their way in. And this is, yeah, this is a campaign mode now. Or cinematic moment with the Ultralisks in the natural expansion. It looks like somehow Radley able to expel some of it. He does have level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Compared to just the, well, he's got four carapace in the background. Another base being grabbed. A couple of mines being cleared, but now the dropship's fielding and a dropship moving with the science vessel. This could be the swing that Radley needs. A scourge is in the way, catches the science or the dropship. Sorry, the dropship looks like it might be able to unload the troop regardless. Another scourge there. The scourge lands and only a single marine, sorry, two marines and a medic unload. The science vessel has been taken out as well, and Oxerg looks like he's on his way to securing four bases. Is he going to be able to get Ultras back in his main? It looks like that Spire might get taken out. So this might be, not be a complete null shift. But Ultras are now pushing into the natural expansion. Still no... Honestly, if, if there was Defilers here, that would be game. Radley somehow manages to get a battle cruiser, but loses that near instantaneously. Was able to take out the Spire. Somehow established the 6 o'clock base. And Oxer continuing to throw troops... At the natural expansion, disrupting a lot of mine and killing a lot of marines. These ultralisks are looking just scary now. Another battle cruiser sneaking out to engage these ultralisks. It's going to be a while before the spire's online. However, with enough zerglings underneath, particularly with adrenal upgrade, they can chew through a lot of this rather rapidly. But the battle, so the battle cruiser, the one latent defense. A handful of Marines. It looks like a siege tank at the natural expansion, but that natural expansion basically breached. The Ultra is now wandering up into the main. Oxer suddenly has the supply lead. Is sitting on four bases. I'm still sitting on three gas, so small mercies. The Ultra list potentially will get cleaned up by these battle cruisers, but how long is that going to take? Another grouping of Marines, but while this has been happening... Radley's troop count has plummeted. And he's definitely he's beneath the worker count of Oxerg. Oxerg's Ultralisk finding some room. A handful of Comsat being dropped. Carapace upgrades continue. Still no, and I feel like this might have been an opportunity to go ahead and get Defiler Mound. Fourth gas has been capped. Oxerg still hasn't dropped. Honestly, yeah, Radley going to call GG regardless, though. Missed more Zerglings flooding into the natural expansion. Oxerg's economy too strong, so game one going to Oxerg. Actually, looking back at this, if I would have realized this was Radley, this might have been a good match to grab as well. As far as these guys up against each other, check out both these guys. I'm not sure if Radley's in BSL or not, but he's certainly in SDPL. A lot of the Clan League stuff, Oxerg uh, has been there here and there. I'm not sure if he's in Gosu League this season or Pro League, and check it out. Uh, well, let's. For people on Twitch stream, this will be news, and for people that I believe I am set to cast this weekend for the opener of BSL 14, which I'm extremely excited to do. Um, however, this weekend uh, 
is going to be off for when this is uploaded. But I like highlighting these players regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.